I come from the most? You or you? I don't think we can quantify it. Well, if the show isn't going to answer this, then I will. Theia or Proto-Earth? Which of them became more of the Earth? I'm pretty sure we all know their story by now, but if you have no idea what I'm talking about, here is a quick summary. Long ago, in the solar system, there used to be five rocky planets. Mercury, Venus, Theia, Proto-Earth, and Mars. Then, because of some gravity shenanigans and a love story in Solar Balls, Theia and Proto-Earth collided, causing the formation of what we now know as the Earth and Moon. Now, in real life, this is only a theory, but it's actually one of the most widely accepted theories on how the Moon and Earth came into existence, with evidence from the Apollo missions, which were led by NASA to get the first people onto the Moon, where they brought back rocks that were then studied and found that the Earth and Moon have similar chemistry, hinting at a shared history. If you want more details, the website I used is in the description below. Now, on to actually answering the question from this video. I decided to start by exploring their masses. Theia was hypothesized to have a similar mass to Mars, and according to NASA, the ratio of Mars's mass to Earth's is currently about 0.1, which is tiny, only 10% of the Earth's mass. And that means in the best case scenario, which is that all of Theia's mass went into the Earth after the collision, it would still be only 10%. And we know this best case scenario did not happen, as when they crashed, a lot of their mass became the moon and a lot was ejected out into space. So, case closed then, right? Proto became more of the Earth. He was bigger and so he became a majority of it. And in mass terms, that is correct. But come on, that's a boring answer. Instead, what I more want to see is which of their spirits are more in the Earth, because scenes like these in Solar Balls... Come on! You must have some of her left in you! I guess there's still some of you in there. They are. ...hints towards this very question. Even the fact that they are in his subconsciousness is basically telling me that their essence is in him, which means that one of them must have more essence in him than the other. So then I looked at if there were any shared personality traits between Theia and Proto and the Earth. Here is what I found. Theia's personality was seen to be curious, like seen here. The sun said he had big plans for us, then refused to explain. What was that all about? She also had the urge to create life, even going so far to basically dying to give it the best shot it had. She was super ambitious and determined, super smart, she basically figured out what life needed by herself, and she was happy to protect Proto from asteroids. I could also protect Proto from asteroid impacts! Though that more came from her drive to get life, rather than being protective. Proto-Earth, on the other hand, was seen to be arrogant and egotistical, like seen here. I wasn't finished. Yeah, you were. The sun asked for our names, not your entire life story. He did gain a consciousness, though, as he apologized to Theia. And he also had the urge to make life. Though, unlike Thea, he feared the responsibility of it. Not being good enough, failing them, succumbing to the chaos, an asteroid, a solar flare, so much can go wrong. Now let's look at the Earth. What do we see? He has also been determined and ambitious, like when he tried to make a second sun. He has the urge to make life, but also sees the huge responsibility that life is. You are alive because of me. And if I get off my orbit, or get struck by a meteorite, or if you start a nuclear war, none of you will be left! And he has also been arrogant. I'm the only one that has life. But also had a redemption arc, and gained a consciousness because of his faults. I'm sorry, I wasn't a good friend to either of you. If you haven't been able to tell yet, his arc has been very similar to Proto-Earth's arc. He does share a few traits of Theia, but he mainly has the same mindset that Proto had. Now, we can't not talk about Luna in all of this, as he also came from their collision. We learned that... These materials formed a ring, which then became a moon through accretion. Luna! And this is true, as we can see that from the collision a bunch of matter is shot out. Now, looking at Luna's personality throughout the show, he is protective of the Earth, as he protects him from asteroids even when just formed. He is loyal to the Earth, as he goes against all the moons, to stop him from getting bombarded, and he has been shown to be determined, like seen in the Moon Revolution and in recent episodes. To me, this matches Thea a lot more than Proto, so TLDR. From what I could gather, 
Proto became more of the Earth, and Theia became more of Luna. There's of course more to all their personalities, but these were the main similarities that I could see. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you want to support the channel. And until next time, see ya.